Fox News alert. John Durham's probe revealing the Clinton campaign paid to infiltrate Trump servers to try to tie him to Russia, to create a narrative. That's his report's term, not ours. Here to react, Sunday Morning Futures anchor, Maria Bartiroma. Maria, you've been all over this story for years. Now this revelation. Yes, it is obviously now the conclusion to what we have all known for several years. And for several years, I have been saying Hillary Clinton made the whole thing up and infiltrated Donald Trump and really damaged his reputation. Pete, every American this morning should be outraged. The government yes. and the media failed you. They failed you because they went with a political narrative where one political candidate was simply trying to take down another candidate. But this goes much beyond that. And this is the reason that for four years straight, I had people like Devin Nunes and John Radcliffe on my show every Sunday and told our viewers yes, the truth. Adam Schiff was lying or going on with this narrative the whole time. So the question now becomes, when specifically did the FBI start working with the Clinton campaign? That is what we need to know now, because we know that Hillary Clinton made the whole thing up. But how is it possible that her people were able to infiltrate the president of the United States server, as well as his home, as well as a health care company? That's what we need to understand. This tech executive won apparently had contracts, government contracts, that enabled him to get this information and get this access to these servers, so much so that it went right to the president of the United States. I'll tell you, I hope Donald Trump sues them all for everything, because they damaged his reputation throughout his four years in office, so much so that he was constantly on defense, constantly explaining that there was no collusion, constantly explaining why, uh, that he had to explain that he thought they were spying on him. All of this, again, every American should be outraged by this. Do you know how many foreign countries want to get into the White House's internet flow? How many adversaries out there want to get into the White House, the president of the United States, internet activity, and this tech executive was able to do that? What does that tell us about the national security of this country? What does that tell us of the power of the Clinton machine enabling to take down her political enemy for four years straight and damage his reputation? Sure, he, she lost the election, but this is so much bigger. This is the biggest scandal we have ever seen. Now we know for sure they tried to cheat in the 2016 election. They tried to cheat in the 2020 election behind the guise of covid we are getting into it this morning. This morning, oh, and by the way, I have to tell you, all weekend long, the White House leakers have been running around saying that Putin is going to invade Ukraine this Wednesday. So is it all a ruse that they are really going to invade this Wednesday, or are they trying to create all of this drama because we were getting this Durham information and because we just saw 40-year highs on inflation? We're talking with the ranking member of the House Intel Committee. Will he hold hearings to hold these people accountable? And will we see more indictments? John Ratcliffe was on my program a couple of weeks ago. Thanks to him, we know all of this because he declassified all of these documents that he sent to Durham. And I want to know from Mike Turner, is he going to hold hearings to hold the people in government? I'm talking about the FBI, the CIA, the State Department, who obviously worked with the Clinton campaign. Then we will talk about what's going on across the country. Masks are coming off. We've got Lieutenant Governor Winsome Sears with us, along mm -hmm. with Senator Marshall and David Perdue in the race for governor of Georgia. All coming up. Well said, time, well Pete. said. I'll see you then. And big show. We look forward to watching, Maria. Thank you so much.